Judges and audience members, I'd like all of you to pretend that you're a cricket. Now, as a cricket, you eat many things, including dead insects. They must be good for you, right? Well, unfortunately, if you're a cricket, maybe not, because that dead insect you just ate contained a tiny dormant hairworm, which is part of a very specialized group of parasites. Now that hairworm is inside you, and it has woken up. During the next couple of months, it consumes your body fluids and grows inside you until it matures and is ready to mate. However, the hairworm can only mate in water, which is a problem because it's stuck inside you, a land-loving insect. The hairworm does have a solution to this, though, and it kind of sounds like a theme picked out of a science fiction novel. It uses mind control. Somehow, the hairworm hijacks your tiny cricket brain, and as a result, you start walking around aimlessly like a zombie, which brings you sooner or later into a puddle of water where you drown. Lo and behold, the hairworm that had spent several weeks inside you then coils out your back end and swims away, leaving behind your floating corpse without even a second thought. <laughs> now, I know that this sad story sounds unbelievable, but the changes in your behavior caused by the hairworm that brought you into water are one of the most well-known examples of what researchers call parasite manipulation. But despite its notoriety, little research has been done on this fascinating phenomenon, and we don't really know how hairworms do it. And that's where I'm focusing my research. I want to understand how hairworms interact with their insect hosts and drive them into water. In order to accomplish this, I'm currently replicating the hairworm's complex life cycle in the laboratory in order to infect different insect species and study their behaviors under controlled experiments as the hairworm grows and matures inside them. And by using powerful analytical tools, we will attempt to identify the biochemical pathways manipulated by the hairworm that are ultimately responsible for your demise as a cricket. This uh, could open new doors for studies on parasites that manipulate animal behavior, which includes human behavior, by the way. But if we discover how hairworms really cause the suicidal behaviors in their hosts, perhaps that they secrete a deadly cocktail of zombifying molecules, my project may provide new insight on some of the fundamental aspects of behavior itself, which to this day remain largely a mystery. Thank you.